Julia, wouldn't this be awful if a tree suddenly blew down and killed Fred and Willie on the golf links? Jane, how can you? It would serve us right. It would be too awful. I should never forgive myself. Neither should I. Who's <sighs> afraid to forgive, Mary? The wind? Such things do happen. No, they don't. Not if you don't think about them. It's mind over matter. Julia, I so admire you because you're so strong and sensible. Nonsense, dear. It's just that I'm not afraid of life. Huh. You're brave. I'm no braver than you, Jane, darling. We must both be brave. Always. We must be brave. Always. Whatever happens. Even if Fred and Willie were killed, we should have to bear it. Yes, Jane, dear. We wouldn't break down, would we? We'd face the world with a smile. Well, not quite a smile, because then we might be misunderstood. But oh, poor Fred, dear. I can see Fred being carried in on a stretcher. There's Willie on another stretcher. Oh, dear, 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 don't. Oh, I don't want any more, because I've had enough. So have I, but we must go on. It will keep up our strength. They look lovely. Mm -hmm. Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Singer. No, you do that with cherry stones. <laughs> I like doing it with these. <laughs> Have some more champagne. No, thank you. And here you are. Huh? Thanks, darling. The silly thing is now I'm beginning to feel sleepy. Mm, I'm not. I'm just cosy. No, mm. I'm terribly, terribly sleepy. Bring in the coffee, Saunders. Julia, mm. what a pretty girl Saunders is. Yes, isn't she? A pretty girl. Do you know, she ought to be a great success in life because she's so calm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> you look frightfully funny. <laughs> What's the matter with me? I don't know, you just do. <laughs> well, so do you. Go and look at yourself. <laughs> It's our heads, I think. They're far too big. That's it's because we've had too much champagne. Much too much. <laughs> Let's sit down. All right. <sighs> I'm terribly sorry I didn't know you'd booked permanently. Wouldn't it be awful if the Queen suddenly came in? I don't think she will. She's in Paris. She's back. Anyway, Saunders will announce her. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel mm, warm. Uncomfortable. Mm. Yes, I'm feeling absolutely splendid myself. I couldn't feel better. A child could play with me. <gasps> the bell! The bell! Oh, it must be him this time! It's my turn! Come and step close to me! Oh, I lost it on the edge of the sofa. Oh, it's 
Stop it ringing. Stop it ringing. Oh, very well. <clears throat> Will that suit you? It mind what happens now. I'm just past everything. Will you have some coffee? Thank you. A liqueur? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Uh, Benedictines, please, Sanders. Shall we have them in tumblers? Oh, I ordered these Benedictines for you because I thought they would round off the meal so nicely. They certainly will. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> It's terribly strong. <laughs> it's supposed to make you feel rather, rather... How thoughtful of you, dear. <laughs> Will you have some fruit? Oh, I couldn't. Do. No. It rounds off the meal so nicely. Ugh, for heaven's sake, stop rounding off the meal because it's getting on my nerves. Don't be so temperamental, Jane. It's only a suggestion. Hmm. Do you think it would matter if I took off my shoes? Uh, not in the least. <laughs> I think they usually do in Japan. No, quite an old custom. Do you know, if Maurice had any insects, he would arrive now, looking marvellous, and make the most lovely sort of baffled scene. What would baffle him? Us, of course, because we'd be so aloof and stately. Uh, I shouldn't be aloof. I should give in without a murmur. Then he'd want me more. If you think that's the way to make him, you'd better encourage me. <clears throat> you don't need any encouraging. What do you mean by that? What I say? Oh, yeah, of course. Anyway, Jane, I should never allow you to cheapen yourself. <coughs> How dare you! How dare I what? Insult me? I never insulted you. Yes, you did. You went too far. What you said was beyond a joke. It wasn't meant to be a joke. I hate jokes bitterly. Then you meant what I said. Meant what? How can anyone carry on a conversation with you when you keep on saying what, 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 what all the time? If you can't say what I grasp, you'd better go to bed. That was exceedingly rude of you, Jane. I'm sorry, Julia, but you're annoying me. Unfortunately, this happens to be my flat. Don't worry. You'll get used to it in time. Stop bickering, Jane. How can I stop bickering when you sit there abusing me? I never abused you. Yes, you did. You insinuated that I was... Brazen. Well, so you are brazen sometimes. So are we all. It's, it's human nature to be brazen sometimes. Nothing of the sort. <sighs> Do stop contradicting everything I say. It's infuriating me now. Who was it? Who wouldn't leave London this morning? Why should I want to leave London this morning? I'm very, very disappointed in you. I thought you had a nicer mind than that. I suppose you think your mind is a lovely gilt basket filled with mixed fruit with a bow on the top? Better than being an old sardine tin with a few fins left in it. <gasps> You'll regret that remark in your sober moments. Have a cigarette. Thank you. A light? No. Thank you. Perhaps you'd like a little soft music. Yes. It would put you in a better temper. I had the most amusing letter from Aunt Harriet this morning. Did you? Did you? I thought she was dead. You must be meddling her up with someone else. Go on, dear. Tell me some more news. I love you when you're offended. I'm not offended, Jane. A little of a hurt, perhaps, and surprise. How but... dare you become the outrageous hostess with me? I'm sorry. I've lost my sense of humour. Maybe because I'm tired. We've been together so much lately that I think we're grating on one another's nerves. You're right. Now tell me, where are my shoes? I really don't know, they can't have gone far. I should like to shake you, shake you, shake you and shake you until your eyes drop out. Indeed. Yes! When you are so grand and superior like that, you, you rouse the very worst in me. Obviously. You, you make me feel like a French Revolution virago. But Julia, I'd like to rush up and down Bond Street with one of your tiny heads on a pole. It would be just as well for you to gather your belongings and I'll have Saunders see you to your flat. If she comes near me, I shall throttle her. I've never actually seen you violent before. It's very interesting psychologically. I could bring you down to earth in one moment if I liked. What vulgarity. This is not vulgarity. It's something I was more ashamed of than vulgarity, but I'm not ashamed of it anymore. Julia. I've kept something from you. 
I wish you'd go home, Jane. I must have realised all along you're going to turn out false and beastly. What are you talking about? Never you mind what I am talking about. Where are my shoes? Never mind about your shoes. What do you mean? Get me my shoes! They're probably under the table. You better get them and go. And now I'm glad that I did keep it to myself. That's better. I suppose you're still far too grand to be curious. It concerns Maurice. Oh, it concerns Maurice, does it? Oh, yes. I thought that would rouse you. I think you'd better tell me if you don't want to wreck our friendship forever. Oh, it will certainly wreck our friendship when I do tell you. Julia, I know where he is. It's a lie! No, it's true! He telephoned me while I was dressing tonight. Jane! Yes, it's true! I didn't want to tell you because I thought it would hurt your feelings. But now I realise that you haven't got any feelings to hurt. Only a shallow sort of social vanity. Oh, where is he then? Tell me. I shall do nothing of the sort. I don't want you to rush around and make a fool of yourself. <gasps> How dare you! How dare you! I shall never speak to you again in all my life. You're completely, utterly contemptible! If it's, if it's true, you're just a snivelling hypocrite. If it's a lie, you're nothing but a bare-faced liar! There's nothing to choose between the two of you! Please go at once! Go! I'm only too delighted. And I shall interest you to know that I'm going straight to Maurice! Oh! Liar! Liar! It's true! And I shall go away with him at once! And you? And Fred? And Willie? Can all go to hell! The whole lot of you!